In this video about the conceptual design phase, I'll provide an overview of different strategies that you can apply with inside this phase for doing more informed and qualified design decisions in your design process. We'll take a look at different opportunities and applications that you can effectively apply in a holistic green BIM workflow. One of the most important phases in sustainable design development is the phase of conceptual design. In this phase, we can, based on climate analysis and the reference studies that we did in the pre-design, work with creating form and energy models based on our design proposals that we can use for investigating performance and evaluating different design alternatives. So this phase is really looking at optimizing things like daylight and visual comfort, natural ventilation, shading and solar gains, the distribution of internal loads and beginning to create the foundation for choosing which kind of materials and constructions we want to implement in the project. So here, a great way to start is using the strength of Autodesk Grassari for really being able to create some very conceptual concepts and doing quick and fast evaluation of different design alternatives, looking at things like solar radiation, ecotech windrows and other very fast applications or simulations that has been implemented from ecotech analysis but it's a lot more fast to do with inside Autodesk Rosario. This example shows how solar radiation analysis can be used to change the orientation of these two towers, three towers to improve access to sun and daylight. One other great example here is this project from Henning Larsen where we use solar radiation analysis for optimizing the envelopment and creating an understanding of placement of glazing on the model here to have it a bit more open on the north side and to make it a bit more closed where we had a lot of radiation. We can also use Vasari and Revit's conceptual energy analysis tool to predict energy use. You can make your design more efficient by getting quick, quick feedback on orientation, form, window to wall ratio, materials for walls and windows, the layout of zones, and choosing predefined options for HVAC systems and building schedules. Things like wind simulations has been implemented in Autodesk Vasari and allows us to, on a very conceptual stage, to use climate data from the nearest weather station to evaluating how our design will perform on our exterior spaces, but as well in relation to things like natural ventilation strategies we want to implement. Later on in the conceptual design phase, we can use Ecotech for doing fast evaluation of things like daylighting and internal loads with inside the model, looking at monthly load discomfort and passive gains breakdown that are really effective tools for evaluating and identifying problems areas with inside our design. In the same phase and here we're working with very conceptual rooms that we can evaluate primarily looking at daylighting. Daylighting has really a great impact on the comfort, the energy loads, and the quality within inside a space. Ecotech is really only looking at the quantitative amount of daylight. So that's why we're using Ecotech analysis in combination with radiance that allows us to create daylight visualizations with overlay of data and allows us to create overlay of contour lines and create a more visual interpretation, ha human sensitivity overlay of false colors that would help us to identify the light levels within inside the model. At the final stage, we can use DASIM in combination with Ecotech for really creating the final validation and lead credentials that we're looking for. What Ecotech provides us with is that it's a bit more effective to work with the output 
first of all looking at the grid here we can choose where there is between 0 and 6 hours of sunlight and in that way use this great tool as an identifier for many of the simulations that we'll perform. And again, with inside Ecotech, it's really a great possibility that you can have multiple projects coming in here and you can just save it out here in the zone management, which helps you to quickly bring in or bring back simulations that you did previously to visualize these in relation to the specific design. Let's take a close look at the conclusions and next steps from this phase here. What we are looking for here is an optimized development, an optimized concept in conceptual rooms that we want to place with inside the development in strategic locations. And we are also looking at collecting all the simulations and data to make validated decisions on which type of on which design we want to move on with or which changes we want to implement from the different simulations and design alternatives that we did. For doing this we need to be able to compare both numeric data and evaluate numeric simulations that we did in this phase. For looking at numeric data right now I'm really using Excel looking at the facts of the building looking at the energy profile, visual comfort, let's bring up the, the right one here, visual comfort, solar radiation, and other things that we can measure. And again, as well, implementing a design point of view is really critical because comfort and energy is not the only thing controlling if we have a great building. But being able to bring it in and evaluate and see in a visual graph here what type of performance are performing the best is really uh, essential here.